All right, guys. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'll just start chapter eight. And then we might do pit stuff. And we could do post game stuff too. Because I'm already kind of over leveled already from doing the pit the first time. And I don't want to be too over leveled beating up Shadow Queen. I think I'm probably over leveled already for Shadow Queen. So I'd just rather not <laughs> ruin the chapter by being so overpowered. I do like how the music continues on through this uh, chapter intro because I think originally it has its own theme. It's good because it helps keep the uh, emotional impact still there. It doesn't get ruined by a sudden music change. <laughs> the tone of the music doesn't fit at all. But has Vivian been in here before? Because once again, I don't know if the shadows, sirens, or the they're just called the shadows aren't they in this version the the shadows are immortal do they age at all because apparently Bel Beldum knows about the shadow queen but how exactly also I just love the the use of red here it's so nice oh the music sounds pretty good a little bit better than the original because in the original this music is not the greatest also it's cool that they angled the camera a little bit more so that you can actually see that there's a stopwatch here because uh, it didn't do that in the original you just went down a couple of steps and then boom you picked up the stopwatch um let me equip zap tap and that way I don't have to worry too much about these guys also, you know what? I've never used this badge before. The, uh... Keep those on. The, uh, return postage. I've never used it, because... Really, why would I want to use it? But I guess I will use it now. Use zap tap and return postage. Oh, you can hear the lay motif. That's cool. Uh, maybe I should get something for a quick change, too. Just because quick change is is nice to just swap around partners but it is costly in terms of fp i think I'll, i will get rid of the damage dodges just to make this chapter feel a little more difficult lucky day is also kind of cool but i don't want to have to worry about lucky what how did he oh don't i have bump attack on or no first attack. Let me turn that off. <laughs> I might have bump attack on. Oh, you know what's an easy way to see? Why? Yep, I do have bump attack on. Um, you, you know what, let's just keep it on, who cares? I guess we kind of miss out on the fights, but you know, by now I've probably seen all the fights that there is. Oh, there's a shooting star here. I don't remember if that was in the original. If I remember correctly, this was an ultra shoot. <laughs> Why did they change this to a Mr. Softener? <laughs> it was an ultra shoot before and they made it a Mr. Softener? Oh yeah, I don't have to worry about fights. Oh, at least chapter 8 will be a breeze, I guess. There is uh, one enemy that I need to check on. Because we haven't fought them yet. It's the uh, gold bullet bills. They have a different name though. But do I beat these guys too? I do. Okay, so... I guess I'll have Goombella and I'll... Turn that badge off. So I want the titles. Who what's the battle music gonna be? Really? Is just gonna keep the music going? That's that's an interesting choice there. So does it have a think version too? It doesn't. 
Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Because, although this music is better than the original uh, Palace of Shadow music, I still don't like it. <laughs> it's, it's not as intimidating as it should be. It's like ominous, but it's not intimidating. And I'm guessing if I had bump attack on, it would also bypass these guys too. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like that change where it's just regular music. Maybe if it was the same song, but maybe, I don't know, I feel like the tempo needs to be sped up a bit and the music or instrumentation probably more intense. Mm, okay. I think I'll just go for heart attack. I think this is the only unique enemy to this area. I can't think of any other ones. Because there's wizards, or dark wizards, but see those guys in the pit. There's chain chomps, see them in the pit. Yeah, all these guys you see in the pit, except for these for some reason. I mean, I guess you don't see the other build blasters from Pirate Grotto either. Yeah, it's so jarring that the music is the same. I guess because I'm just so used to it being different in every other chapter. Okay, let's uh, put that badge back on. Oh, it's a... Uh, whoops. It's 5 BP. I was thinking it was like 1 BP for a second. I think in the original, if you did this... Oh, that's right. <laughs> I'm dumb. I forget that the items don't come out of the boxes. Uh, they don't fling out to the side like they did originally. Because I remember it would fall over here and there's some spikes and it would fall in the spikes. But then I could use coops to get it. Wait, so it doesn't even hurt you? Oh no, it does. Okay. I guess I was just a little slow. <laughs> Okay, enough fooling around. I think we don't have to worry about getting into fights. I do think there's a lot of interesting mechanics here that, um... Also, I never realized this, but they changed the sprites of the little fire bars into actual fire. I think they did that in the Bowser sections as well. Also, I think you can get coins from this, but... Just like in the original game, it's never worth it, because you only get like a couple of coins out of this. Definitely feels easier to do than the original. <laughs> I say that and I get hit. Oh well. I'm just not gonna go for it. Much better ways to get coins in this. Okay, so these guys are still here. So maybe they're the only other uh, Palace of Shadow. Oh man. <laughs> they're the only other enemy that's exclusive to the Palace of Shadow. Because I was like freaking out. Like, why aren't they in the pit? Uh. Maybe I should just get rid of uh, this badge because it's just going to be more issues and it's saving me time. Don't want to kill him. We need the tattle first. I 
Phantom Ember again. <laughs> well, Goombella, we've seen ghosts already before. I don't know why this particular fiery ghost is scaring her. And this one I think we need Vivian for. I don't think I need a heal there. I think this is the Dry Bones fight. Oh, that, that's right. There's specific Dry Bones here too. I think Dark Bones? I think for this fight, if I have the BP, let's go for Fire Drive. Man, I just realized how much in this episode I'm just going through the badge menu. Oh, that's new, I think. Also, I like how he just kind of runs away from this. What does a uh, Gumbella say for the hint here? <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we actually got battle music, but it's only because it's event battle music. Okay, this actually has... House of Shadow vibes. This is interesting. <clears throat> because this is like the only song or event battle song that actually fits the theme of the area it's in. I was hoping it would do that for other areas and other chapters, but it didn't do this. So now I'm really confused by <laughs> the music done in the Palace of Shadows because one very good battle music is just the Palace of Shadow music. And then the event battle music, which isn't changed in any other chapter, <laughs> is changed for this specific fight. I'm <laughs> just confused, man. What are the choices there? I wonder how easy it is a super guard. Oh, I'm that easy. I probably should have just rally winged to let Mario do two fire drives. And although I was kind of complaining about the music, or I'm complaining more about the music inconsistency for this chapter so far. I do like the music though, it's really, really good. I actually got XP. Wow. Oh, a purple key. I haven't seen one of those yet. going to be in here. Mini Mr. Mini. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I got confused with this one? I mean, these rooms are very similar. I don't think I'm going to be fast enough to... Yep. <laughs> Let's try and... Nice. I don't think I was fast enough to use Veil there. Okay, wait. Now is the music different here, or am I going crazy? No, I'm going crazy. I 
I think I can use fire drive and then fire jinx. Should be enough. Maybe Vivian can just punch that thing. Oh, it has defense. Oh, well, I saw that. Press X by mistake. Okay, uh... Yeah, Mario will hammer that and then Vivian will attack the bombshell bill. This music does seem to be dynamic though, because it's getting more intense than before, so I like that at least. Vivian's a bad matchup for this fight. I think I need to switch out to Bobbery. I think, uh, okay, we'll use Sweet Feast here. Get our FP back, and that should be enough to do Bob on Bass. Well, it's a particularly bad Sweet Feast. It's looking like it's gonna be a bad one. I'm gonna see if I can avoid the other fights if I can. Ooh, maple syrup. I think I'll just use that now. Also, I didn't realize how many coins I have. I almost have 3,000 coins. So going in the pit does to you. Come out rich. I think Bobbery, yeah, his regular bomb should be enough to KO the Phantom Ember in the back. Oh, that was wrong. I could probably super guard him. I can't super guard that. Oh, but Mario has feeling fine, that's right. Good to have feeling fine with Mario because if you need to heal a status off of your partner, you can just use a sweet treat. So just using one SP to heal your partner is a pretty good uh, thing to do late game because statuses are more of a thing. But now I think I have enough time to veil. Ooh, close though. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna have Bobbery out. Just have him do Bob on Bast. Ooh, I wonder what the uh, puzzle place is gonna sound like. It's gonna be super spooky or ominous. I just get rid of the other guy. Well, at least Mario can hammer it. I messed it up. <laughs> oh no. Well, extended this fight another turn, unfortunately. I should be checking the partner hit, just to see what's... Hmm, I guess this is going to be the default for the area then. So this is a weird room, because you could just avoid it all. Uh, I don't know if they're going to force you to fight these guys. No, they still don't. Such a weird room. 
It'd make more sense if you had to fight them. Oh, this room. What is this? Oh. Was P down, D up, P? Or P up, D down, P? They lost one? I guess that's cool. I wonder if you get a trophy trophy where you collect all the trophies in the game. Uh, yeah, so this area is... I think they did this puzzle in 64 as well. You just gotta find where the torches are. Not too much of a difficult thing. I think they tell you how to do this too. Oh no, it doesn't say. Uh, I wonder if you tattle with Gumbella, she says. Oh, wow. It's kind of weird. It's one of the few uh, hints or titles where it doesn't, like, outright tell you what to do or really nudge you into the direction. But I guess it is the last chapter, so hey, they decided to hold, stop holding your hand a bit. One of the few parts where you have to go backwards. Go this way. And then we go back this way. This feels different. I don't think he did this in the original. They might have edited this puzzle a bit to not be as like keep going right. Because I remember maybe it's random. Um, but I remember I just had to keep going to the right for the majority of the time. Either it was on the bottom floor or the top floor, but it was just going right. Maybe they changed it a little. Or it's random. One of those two. Oh, that's an interesting statement. Feels like time has stopped. Get in there, Bobbery. I like that effect. I can't fight these chain jumps, I guess. Oh, got the first strike. Oh, but we have battle music here. Interesting. I think I'm gonna switch to Cooper. Or Coops. Oh no! <laughs> I've done it in this playthrough again, too. Because in my last playthrough, I kept confusing Coops and Cooper together. But, uh, I mean, if I had to give a reason, it's because I was playing the uh, 64 and the hard mode of Thousand Year Door at the same time. So it makes sense why I would get those two names confused, but I can't believe I did it again. Oh, goodness. Can you blame me? Those two names are so similar. Aw, oh, dang it. That's easy to confuse the two. Oh, that was really slow. I was expecting it to be a little bit faster. Also, I should just let Coops do it. Oh yeah, let's try it on one more level to be an S-list uh, stage actor, right? Or S-list star. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my depth perception was horrible there.
So before, I used to think this area was cool, because I thought the puzzles were nice. But when I replayed it on my hard mode <laughs> series, uh, it wasn't as great as I remembered it being. It's a lot more simpler than I remember it being. The next area has much better uh, puzzles pertaining to your partners. Whereas this one, for some reason, I thought it was better than it was, but it's not really that good. Because I think this place is called like Puzzle Tower or something like that. But these. If these are puzzles, man, these things are like super easy. Oh, can I not interact with this door? They do say to do this one last, but. Let me see if the other ones are open. No. Oh, it's gonna force you to use the stairs. Okay. Also, I like how it has the uh, pit music. I did that in the original too, but I like that lay motif of having it there because the pit is like part of Shadow Queen's domain. If you think about it, because her her pet Bone Tail is over there. But they changed it so that you have to go up here first. Originally, you could just go look at the. Uh, You could just do the puzzles, but I guess you gotta go up here first. But the music here is pretty cool. Also, we should probably have Yoshi. I was going... Nah, uh, going down the stairs seems faster with him. Guess we'll do this one first. Um... Why is it not opening the doors? Wait. They're not going to let us do the puzzles right now? That would be an interesting change to do. Because originally you had to do the puzzles first. And then you needed to go look for the item where you'd find Gloomtail. Are they going to do it the other way? Maybe it was like that in the Japanese version? Hmm. Because I don't know too much about the Japanese version. Other than maybe like their recipes that they had, but. So we'll see. Uh, if what I think is gonna happen is going to happen, I wanna have Vivian out. Well, I was. I thought we fought the shadows right now, but I think that's after we finish Puzzle Tower. I do like the change in music here. <clears throat> to be more like the underground music. Aw, oh, dang it. Uh, I guess we'll do Fire Jinx, because it pierces through defense. Oh, we just hit 3,000 coins, too. But, I mean, what's the point now? I mean, <laughs> I'm already as strong as I am. I got all the badges. There's really no point for money at this point. Might need to switch to Coops. Yeah, I think I am. Because Fire Jinx won't hit these guys because they're immune to fire. They still give a lot of experience, that's crazy. I understand they're difficult because of the high defense that they do. But I mean, you got coops, it's not a problem. Oh. I'll just toss a super mushroom then. I 
guess I could be using Yoshi for these long hallways. I guess I will do that. Oh. Is that new? I don't know if I want this. Let's get rid of Mr. Sulfur. I'm not using this thing. I think there's some embers in here. Yeah, there are. I'm just gonna choose to avoid these guys. Oh, you know what? I forgot I had return posted, John. But I haven't really noticed it because I've been guarding attacks or super guarding attacks. And any of the attacks I do take damage on, they're like projectiles, so I haven't really noticed it yet. Now, I wonder if they made, uh... Gloomtail a girl as well, because I think they said that Gloomtail was a boy. Or at least her older brother. But they also said that about Bone Tail too. Okay, uh Gumbella, let's try. Wanna get that towel in? Okay, so Gloomtail is is a boy still. Let me swap to I'll do Bob for me. Let's do power lift. Well, <laughs> almost got the four four. I think I just use a regular bomb with him. Also, since Mario isn't as defensive before, it's probably better to have him in the back. Oh wow. Things are not going pretty good for Wormtail right now. Oh, I'm bad at guarding that attack. I need to use Sweet Feast. I'll just do regular hammer, see how much this does. Um, one damage more with fire drive. Technically two if you count the extra burn damage at the end of the turn. This is a good one to have Flurry on. I think Vivian too, but I'm not too sure. Okay, uh, we'll just have Bobbery attack and then go for Sweet Feast. Great heal for Bobbery. Yeah, 
think I'll I'll use a veil, but uh, I don't recommend using it. So we'll use her because that way it doesn't waste Mario's turn later. Oh, that looks really cool. Look more like a laser bleam. Laser bleam. <laughs> a laser beam. Oh yeah, it doesn't hurt Vivian either. Even though her tail is connected to the ground, I mean, she's a shadow after all, so... She can move her body upwards as much as she wants. I think it'll be done next turn, maybe. I was trying to go for the super guard there. A little ballsy on my part. Oh, you know what? This is a perfect time to show off a move I never use. And probably most people shouldn't use. <laughs> Smooch. It's like 10 FP to heal 10 HP. Yep. Not a good move. Unless you want to convert FP to HP. Or if you got tons of FP to spare. I mean, I guess you could do it, but don't recommend it. No, oh, there's my audience. They won't be able to see this. It's the worst time to go to sleep for them. Killed by a little mouse. Wow, this audience is full of heavy sleepers if that didn't wake him up. It's also funny that Gloomtail gave more XP <laughs> than Bonetail. I guess it's kind of a joke that uh, Bonetail always gives one XP. Um... I think I'll just go for HP and FP. Maybe stop when I get to 40 HP and 40 FP. Because I don't think you ever need more than that in the game. Could be wrong, but... Also, the fanfare there is pretty good. Very interesting that you have to do it this way. Could you have always have done this in the original? Always did the puzzles first, and then you go to the pedestal, and then you go to Gloom Tail, but it might have been different. Actually, you know what? Let me fight them to see what uh, the new stage looks like. We got the red curtains. Just like the ones in the game. Okay. I don't remember what hazards. I think it's the Bowser statue and the comet. I think you get more bugs that fall down. Just more hazards in general, really. Alright, let's take the long hallways hallways back. To where we need to go. 